us look at question 17. In the following diagram, P, Q and R are points on the circumference of the circle center O. ARB is a tangent to the circle at the point R. Angle ABP equals 15 degrees and angle RP equals 44 degrees. Find question A, angle OPR, B, angle PQR, C, angle BPR. So those are the questions. And the total number of marks are four marks. So how do we answer this question? So the key is understanding what you are required to find. So let me just zoom in on the diagram so that we answer this question. So as we look at this question, we need to understand the key circle theorems that we need to use. Number one is the radius is perpendicular to tangent. That's the first. Number two, angles in isosceles triangle which is the one surrounded by two radii, the angles subtending those two sides are equal. Then alternative segment theorem. Those are the key theorem that we need to use. So when I look at this one, I ask myself which angles can I answer based on the information that I've been given. So the first thing that I know is this radius O R is in tangent to the circle, meaning this is 90 degrees, meaning also this one is 90 degrees. If this is the case, it means I can find this angle easily, this angle. So it will be 90 minus 44, which will be 46. So this is 46. I know this is the radius, and this is the radius. If that's the case, mean these two angles are equal. So these two angles are the same, so this angle should be 46 also. Then we can find also this angle at the center by using the fact that all the angles in the triangles add up to 180. So what this tells me is I have 46 plus 46, it will give me 92. Then 92 from 180, it will give me 88 because we have 180 minus 92, that's 88. So this angle is 88 degrees. That's the other thing. So now we've known that angle. What else can we find? This side. How can we find this side? So we can find this side by knowing this side. We know this angle. How can we know this angle? This is the angle at the segment is half the angle at the center. Okay? So this angle should be half of 88. So this angle should be 44. So we know that the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So if you know this angle is 44, then you can easily find this angle because this is a straight line. So it will be 180 minus 44. Okay, then you can find this angle. So this should be 136. So if you know that is 136, then what else can we find? We can find this angle, this little angle which is here. This little angle here. And this little angle here, I'll call it Y, is an alternate angle to this. They should be the same. They should be equal. So how can I find this angle? Is to say 136 plus 15 plus this angle. Okay? So it will just be, I can use this space, can use this space to be 136 plus 15. So this will be 1, then 1, then 5, 151. So, so from 180, I need to subtract 151. This will be 10 minus 1, 9. Then this is 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. Then 0. So this angle should be 29, like this. If this angle is 29, then I know this angle should also be 29 by an alternative segment. We would have found all the angles here that are necessary. 
and I you know if this is 29 then I can also find this angle which is here, this angle so it will just be 90 minus 29 this will be 1 here is 8 this is 10 1 then this is 61 so this angle is 61 so you see now I found all the angles this is somewhere you used to can use to find all the angles so now let me just go to the questions O P R O P R is this angle O P R so we've already found this angle what is this angle O P R is 46 so here this is 46 degrees then P Q R P Q R is this angle it's the angle that you use the half of this angle here so this angle is 44 degrees then we are looking for B B P R so B P R is this small angle here see this small angle so this angle already found it is seen this angle which is 29 so just as simple as that then you are good to go 29 degrees then you get all these 46 degrees 44 degrees in 29 degrees you get the four marks so this is how you answer this question please join me as i look at question 18